we're in big trouble here. I mean, the, these are two of the most dangerous gangs on the planet. They are prison spawn gangs. They, they come out of the muck and the slime of these South American prisons, which are their stronghold. They are on the lowest rung of the evolutionary ladder when it comes to organized crime. That means they're all strictly street crime, which is dangerous. They bring with them just mindless, knuckle-dragging violence. They kill with knives and machetes. MS-13 is well established. They're going to be the more dominant of the two gangs. They've been here for quite a while. And as you say, Dana, we knocked them down in, in the late 2000s with, a, with a, just an international effort. But now they're coming back in and they're reestablishing themselves. And that bodes ill for law enforcement across the country. We're going to be living with this crime wave for decades. And I believe that Venezuela is emptying their prisons deliberately and sending these people up here, just like Castro did in the 80s. Homes here in the gated community at the Country Club of Detroit in Gross Point Farms. The organized burglary teams hitting here over the last weekend. And if a home backs up to trees or woods, it becomes a target. Thieves hiding there until they see their chance. Oakland County Sheriff Michael Bouchard first sounded the alarm in September after huge homes in Bloomfield Township were hit, then homes on private drives in Birmingham. The losses were in the millions. In our area, they are targeting jewelry, precious metals, high-end items such as purses, um, electronics, uh, currency, high-end watches. And if there's a safe that's not attached or they can either break into on scene or carry, they'll do that. Now remember, a team was arrested and charged in Bloomfield Township with a string of car break-ins and some burglaries. But tonight, sources continue to point to what the sheriff pointed to at the very start, that other organized teams out of South America have been hitting high-end homes out west and now have made their home right here. Typically in our area, it's between 5 and 9 p.m. Uh, preferred targets on a lot of these across the country are homes that are isolated. They back up to wooded areas, trails, golf courses. Here's another thing that we're not hearing or seeing in these high-end burglaries. Look, there's no video of these guys. There's video cameras everywhere, especially on these homes, but they're able to get around that somehow. There are alarm systems all over these homes, in the homes, outside of the homes. They're getting around that too. That